So this is the E-Pad Mimo. Um, this is a new 7 inch. What is the resolution on this one? 7 inch resolution is right here. 1024 by 600 TFT, capacitive touch. And this is a Qualcomm dual core. Yes. Awesome. So uh, when is it released? Uh, this should be out in June. So, um, and we've all seen this during CES. This one, of course, comes with a stylus device. So, did you do a custom UI? Uh, this one is currently a custom UI. Um, on the honeycomb, I can't actually say whether it's going to be customized or the honeycomb native. Yeah. Because at this point, there's no firm decision made on that. So, uh, for this actual prototype, you did a whole bunch of custom UI already. Right. Because this custom UI is not used anywhere else, right? Right. For um, this particular one. Yeah. But where Honeycomb changed the entire yeah. scheme. It so might. at my level, I don't yeah. know. So what do you know about Honeycomb? I mean, like, uh, it's going to be here for sure. Yeah, it's going to be here. Um, Honeycomb right now is actually being recorded. So, uh, so it's going to be like a... Um, Super fast, uh, 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 a UI that's optimized for a tablet. Right. Well, and actually, I don't know if you've been to the other side, but we actually have Honeycomb live running right now. So, so you but have not Honeycomb, on this device. not on this device. What do you have it running on? On the Tegra device. On a Tegra device. Right. Okay. So uh, this is because this, this is a Qualcomm 80, 82, right. The Qualcomm 60. port is not ready yet. And it's uh, really powerful. Can you say something about how powerful it is? Oh uh, well. 1.2 gigahertz dual core is actually faster than the Tegra 2 because the Tegra 2 is a 1 gigahertz. All right. So, um, and uh, what can the pen do? Is this kind of some kind of capacitive pen? Yeah. So this is a capacitive stylus. It was specially made for this. So it's better if we just demo it. So we see here, you know, this is an ASUS created system. So you see here. They actually have pressure sensitivity, and that's because of the head of the pen. So as you press it down harder, it increases in volume. How good is the pressure sensitivity compared to like a normal pen? Well, and, and that's all, um, you know, that's all experience. Yeah, could I try a little bit? So if I would do like a light, and then I do... And very light. Okay, cool. So um, that's a special capacitive pen, but mostly going to be used for this kind of hand, hand uh, drawing kind of thing. Well, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you an increased level of control because these will have things like handwriting option, yeah, um, that kind of thing. One of the other Sue's created programs is this My Memory. So ASUS designed this is specifically for this system. So you notice we can type, we can handwrite. So here we can type, we can input notes. I gotta touch a yeah. non. We can type and input notes. We can handwrite to make some notes. We can insert a picture. So you took a snapshot of another any other app. Right, so here we took a picture of an app somewhere of the uh, maps. Yeah, it was Google Map. So if you so, go in any app, you can do that as well? Well, and this is just a picture. Yeah. So probably it was running on something else. So how do, how do you, if you have maps, for example, Google Maps somewhere, you would be able to, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, you would be able to, would you have all the apps? Oh, should be under applications. Yeah. So I don't know if Maps is going to launch, but if we go in Maps, there's somewhere right now we can do go and, and export the frame or oh no no okay I see what you're saying oh, okay. no um, we don't have that obviously okay. right now this is more of a note-taking application so part of the idea is you import it off the internet or you can go in and you can use the camera take a picture of something that's what yeah. these are that, that's what this image is it's a camera ah cool so, so it's, uh, somebody like a, took a picture yeah, of Google Like Maps. a JPEG that was included. Otherwise, a good camera in here? Yeah, 5 um, megapixel here. 
And it says SIM here. Yeah, full size SIM. So this one actually has a SIM in place right now. So. Nice. So uh, if you go on the internet, it works. Yep. And uh, how how finalized is this hardware? Um, this hardware, I would assume, probably has one to two revisions. Um, this is an engineering sample, so... So there are a few uh, hardware optimizations to be done still? Right. Because it's in June it's released. Correct. It's soon, but it's still a couple of months more or something. A little bit more. Yeah, let's see, March. Three, three, four, three months? Yeah, about. And, but this design is really cool. How heavy is this? Uh, 389.16 grams. So. And it fits in a jacket pocket? Could you, could you have a, could we try it out? Yeah, so, you know, nice and portable for us. Any jacket will have, uh, will fit inside, so... Any normal the, jacket. The bezel is not too large on each side of the screen. Right. It's actually tapered for us. It's, sorry? It's actually tapered down here. So. Tapered, what does that mean? Oh, angled. Angled, ah, the angle, okay. To make it easier to fit inside the pocket. Right. That's cool, and uh, the cool thing is you can keep it in a pocket and you can use this now. Oh. You just showed this a couple days ago, today actually, it's the first first time you showed it. Yep. So this of course is, you notice here, the Bluetooth Mi Mic adds to the design of being easily held in one hand while putting it, while inputting with a special stylus or finger into this device. So you can use this of course to con fully control your phone. In addition, you can also use this to play your MP3, hook in your headphones, you're good to go. Um, very lightweight. I don't know if you want to test the weight. This is like almost like nothing. 50 grams or something. Yeah. Almost like air. It's peanuts. And so this one will be like the, the one you, you just pick it up. You can actually choose a contact. Right. It'll have your contact list. It will have your um, it will have your calendar. It will have your instant messages. So your SMS will show up via this. So there'll be a couple more features, but I'm not sure what yet. Listing tracks of music, for example. If um, you want to use it as a music player, there might be an MP3 uh, playback. Yeah, it, it will show what's playing. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about the menu right now. And this is a very special screen, like a tra transparent one. Yeah, sort of translucent. So you're not going to use it as an eyeglass, obviously. But it does have some cool effect because of the translucency. And it's a black and white kind of a LCD. Yeah, it or is black and white. Is it LCD or what is it? Some kind of thing? I don't actually know the technology behind that. Okay. But it's black and white. No colors in the screen, right? Correct. But the idea is that it's very low power. Four hours of talk time on this. Right. And one week of standby time. That's what I heard. Sounds cool. And uh, so it's going to be full 1080p playback. HDMI output. Yeah, it has HDMI mini port right here. How much is it going to cost? Uh, this is going to be $499 to $699. $499 to $699 with the phone? Uh, or is that an well, accessory? It depends on which level. Depends? Getting. What is the level? What does it mean? Uh, well, because you notice 16 gigabyte, 32, 64 eMMC flash. So it depends. Like your high end will automatically get it with you. Your lower end probably not. Alright. So. Cool. Um, it says uh, one gigabyte RAM. Yeah. We also have DLNA built into this. So you can actually stream all your music, video music collection. Yeah. Can you stream an HD video 1080p over DLNA over Wi-Fi? Is going to work? Yeah. There's not, not going to be. Now, any... I don't know about internet. I don't know how good that'll work. Yeah. But yeah, over Wi-Fi should as long as your Wi-Fi connection is strong. So because on well, it's going to depend, of course, on your router. Can it play every codec at have very high bit rates and all that? <laughs> well, no, and then you're going to be limited to um, certain codec. Certain codec. They're proprietary codec. All right. Right. Yeah. Uh, what is that? EB71. Oh no, Mimo. Sorry. The Mimo. Okay. Yeah. That, that's our code name. Yeah. Okay. 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 Product name is okay. Mimo. Mimo. And uh, the features of this is music playback as well. Can you? Uh, Anything else you can remote control? No. It's mostly phone functionality. So is the idea that uh, this one stays in the pocket, this one stays in the other pocket, and they stay online the whole day, at least? Right. And then if your phone rings, you just take that out. Or 
you have this, you're cruising around the internet, your phone rings, you pick up your phone, you continue doing whatever on here. But the standby is more than a day for that kind of purpose, you know, like staying Bluetooth connected and there's no SIM in here, right? It only no uses SIM. that Correct. SIM for everything, for data and voice. Cool, so this is gonna be big. All right. Yeah, we hope so. All right.